Hey guys, Chris here with a new deck profile, and I'm here with, I don't know your name. Kyle. Kyle. And he got top at uh, our locals with Thunder Dragons. Heck yeah. Um, what was your matches, if you can remember? Oh gosh. Uh, first tournament was Blue Eyes, uh, Altergeist, I can't remember the other ones. And then the last tournament was DDD. Pendulum Magicians, Black Wings, and 60-card Hero Link Spam. Oh yeah, Charles. Charles. Charles's deck was scary. And you won against every single match? I won every match. Oh. Undefeated. Okay. Alright. Want to start with the main deck first? Yep. Alright. Let's move that. Alright. So, Everything center here. Yep. So the only non-Thunder Dragon monsters we play, 3 Ash. It's pretty much standard in everything these days. Um, if you're not playing it, you're doing it wrong. 2 Ogre. I need high rarity of this. And 3 Battery Man Solar. Uh, if you open this, you're usually going to win the game. It's pretty damn busted. Uh, a lot of people did not impermanence this when they should have. It's really good. Alright, next. Three Thunder Dragonhawk. Um, if you open this and Battery Man Solar, that's an insane combo. Um, I can do combos later if you want, but we also don't have to worry about it. Uh, we don't. Everyone knows what this deck does. Okay. So, Hawk, a lot of people are cutting it to two. I disagree with that. Three is best because you want to see it as soon as possible. Three Dragon Dark. The card's amazing. Searches any Thunder Dragon card. Three regular Thunder Dragon. Uh, makes your Titan go crazy. Can Thunder Dragon search any of the Thunder Dragons? No, it can just search itself. Okay. Yeah, but what you can do is if you have Titan on the field, you can discard one, search one, and then use that one to search the other one. You get two free pops that way. Oh, okay. And then three Thunder Dragon Matrix. This card is probably the best card in the deck, because as long as you have it, you can unbrick your, your hand, really. Yeah, pretty much everything by going into Link Rebo. Uh, if you're not running Link Rebo, you're doing something wrong. I actually thought you are going to link into Link Rebo, but then you just summoned no. a dragon. I'm like, wait a minute, that's what the deck does? <laughs> yeah, man, the boss monster is insane. And then only two Thunder Dragon Roar. You don't want to see three, because you really just want to banish it with things. Uh, three, you'll see it in your hand too often, and it's it's not great in your hand. It's good in such certain situations, but you really want to banish it. It's only two. Uh, three of the best card in the deck. Gold circle. Gold now, circle, why yes. is it the best card? Because you can banish any one of your Thunder Dragons and get their amazing effect, because their banish effect is usually a lot better than their in hand, except for Dragonhawk. So, it's also not a hard once per turn, so Gold Sarcophagus, if you open multiples of it, it's fine, because you can just choose which effects you want to use. And that's basically why it's so good, it's because you can choose any one of your effects that you want to activate. Broke. So, it's incredible. Three Instant Fusion. A lot of people don't run this. I still do. I think it's amazing. It came in handy a bunch because it can help you go into your summon sorceress or your some summer summoner like link plays. Or you can just make a Kaminari attack, banish your Kaminari attack into Thunder Dragon monster from hand to make Titan. And then you can also get that monster's effect that you banish out of your hand. So it also kind of unbricks your hand if you do brick. So I think it's really good. I would not play the deck without it. Uh, two Allure of Darkness. I mainly put this in because I just got the ultis and I want to try them out. <laughs> it was decent. It's another one of those cards that can unbrick your hand if you start with a like a decent to bad hand. But at the same time, you can cut this for other cards that might do more for you. Uh, there was a lot of times today where it was dead and I wish I had something else. But I still think it's a good card because the Dark Thunder Dragon monsters are the ones you really want to banish as soon as possible. And they, they don't they don't get effects when sent from hand to grave, right? They don't get effects when they're sent from hand to grave, just from field. Okay. So it's it's good and bad, I guess, is what I what would say you like, about that. Um, besides the other ones, what would you cut for it? I would probably play something like Eradicator Epidemic Virus or a third ogre or things like that. 
because you go into Colossus so often that Eradicator is going to be live a ton, and that card is basically Imperial Order, potentially a little better than Imperial Order, depending on your matchup. Like against Sky Strikers, if you resolve that or Imperial Order, you're going to win the game no matter what, pretty much. So I will cut it for something that maybe shuts down, um, shuts down spells or something like that. Uh, there's a few people I know that we're gonna try Seravis, that one ritual hand trap that protects from targeting, just because the main way people out Colossus is by bouncing it. So if you can stop their targeting of it, that really helps. So uh, two called by the grave because we don't like hand traps. No one does. No one does. Especially Maxi, that card sucks. Oof. <laughs> One Monster Reborn. A lot of people don't run this either. I personally liked it because there's a lot of time where you get hand trapped to death, but then you can just Monster Reborn and then make a Colossus. So I thought it was pretty good. One Thunder Dragon Fusion. You only play one because it's recyclable. You can try two, but I wouldn't do it because you can prod potentially just lead to more bricks. So I would just play one. Heavily searchable, recycles your stuff, and there's a loop with it where you can use it a bunch of times. So. Three Bank Breakers. Uh, I love the artwork on this card, that's basically why I picked it up. Uh, Impermanence is also just an amazing hand trap because it can't be called by the graves. Uh, yada yada yada, everybody knows what it does. Uh, great card. Two Torrential Tribute. This is the card that I would consider my tech card, quote unquote. Um, Torrential was incredible all day because you can protect your Colossus and your Titan from destruction of card effects by not just your opponents, by your own as well. So if you eliminate your entire opponent's field by Torrentialing at the right time and saving your Colossus, you can not only destroy their field but get effects with the Thunder Dragon monsters you use to banish to protect your guys. So you basically just plus off of destroying your opponent's entire field and this was incredible all day. This is another thing you might cut one of the allures for to play three of it, um, but personally I think Torrential is really good. A lot of people might not, but I think it was. And one win button, because if you draw this, you pretty much win the game. Hmm. What if like, you're playing against uh, someone that's not playing spells, like Altergeist? How does this go against Altergeist? Uh, I played Altergeist today, it was a pretty difficult match, but with Denko Seca being searchable, by your Thunder Dragon Fusion and... Wait, you can search Danko? You can search Danko with Thunder Dragon Fusion because you can banish Thunder Dragon Fusion from Grave to search any Thunder Monster. So it's... And Danko's a Thunder. And Danko's a Thunder. And Danko shuts down Altergeist, so... Uh, essentially I won game one against Altergeist. It was kind of a grindy match. I lost game two. It was again kind of a grindy match. Um, Game three, I was able to first turn make a Colossus and normal summon Denko, and he couldn't do anything after that. So it was just kind of a a win button. So if you can get to Denko Seca against your um, Altergeist matchup and you side appropriately appropriately for going second with like evenlies and banker tops and things like that, uh, you shouldn't have a problem. I know a lot of people think that Altergeist is a really difficult matchup for Thunder Dragons, but it's not. It's not that bad. Uh, the harder matchup was like Link Span variants that you can't shut down very well. Uh, what side? <coughs> you want to do side next? Yep. Alright. So my side I think was really solid for this tournament. Uh, two Pancrotops. I didn't want to run three because I wanted to make space for other cards that I think were better going second, uh, as well as citing some cards for going first uh, against those matchups that have heavy, that basically just try to spam or set up unbreakable boards going first. So. I only played two of this because at the end of the day it is a targeting destruction. Although every time I summoned it, I won because that card's amazing. Uh, three Danko Seca, best card in the side deck. Don't run two. You want to see it as soon as possible. That's why you're siding it in. Um, waiting, only playing two and then waiting for your time to search it with Thunder Dragon Fusion might be too late. Um, so I want to see it as quick as possible. So I ran three. Two anti spell fragrance um, for pendulum matchups as well as like sky strikers. It's a good card. It's a really cool secret rare. Yeah, I I got those a long time ago and I held on to them ever since. I love that card. Three evenly matched. Uh, win button. Win button basically. Another thing you should really use against altergeist. Dark hole. Uh, same theory as torrential tribute. You can protect your own dudes and plus off of it. So that's why I ran this over Regeki in the side. Two Twin Twisters, because Thunder Dragons 
don't like back row, and again, it's another thing to kill Altergeist with, like you said. Because mm -hmm. Altergeist, although they're not a huge problematic matchup, they're definitely something you want to be prepared for. So, And two mind control to break extra links, as well as break boards without destroying or, you know, things like that. And also really good in the mirror match. Didn't play any mirror matches today, but in, in theory it would be really good. Alright. And last is extra deck. 1,000 eyes restrict for instant fusion targets. Also helps out problematic monsters and big boards. Kaminari attack, instant fusion target, thunder type. Three thunder dragon colossus. This card's amazing. Uh, people don't... People play around it too heavily though, and that makes this next card even better. I play three Thunder Dragon Titan. This card's incredible. It's your board breaker. It's everything you want in a boss monster. It's big. It's easy to summon. It's got a hell of a lot of attack, and it doesn't target when it destroys, so it can out and can activate its effect during the damage step. So it outs Oralord, Oralode, all those kind of problematic monsters. You can also recycle it with Thunder Dragon Fusion too, so that's cool. Uh, one Link Rebo. One Reproticus to help make summon sorceress if they try to put you like under Gozen and Rivalry and things like that. Well, that hurts. Uh, rivalry doesn't really. Gozen kind of does. But it's not too bad. You can usually play around those cards. Summon Summer Summoner. I only play one. I think two is too many because you only ever summon the one. I actually didn't really summon the one that often. Summon Sorceress because this card is stupid. I actually don't like this card, but it's amazing. Nightmare Phoenix to out spells as well as just be a good generic. I think two. Nightmare Unicorn because we like to out things. And Boral Sword because OTKs are. No Boral Load? Are good. No, no Boral Load. I think Boral Sword in this format it's at a least lot better. is better. It's definitely yeah. better. It's, yeah. it's a massive OTK card. It's a massive OTK card. And Boral Load's good at outing problem monsters, but this does the same thing usually as well as helps OTK, so I think this is better right now. That's it. And literally no changes you want to do to the deck? Or any maybe, maybe take out the allures, but I'm going to try them out for a little longer. Uh, not really any regrets. Uh, I think the deck is a lot of fun to play. It was somewhat expensive, but this is the kind of deck I like to play where it's a bit of a control variant and not so much of a combo heavy link spam type deck. Uh, for one, it just feels a little more fair when I'm playing, and it also um, it has a lot of really good matchups, but it, it also has its weaknesses, so it was just a deck I really enjoyed playing, so. Yeah, and, that's and it. Not really any, not really too many changes I would make. And once hype dies down a little bit, it'll get a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Why do we have a play mat and not the card? Why do we have a play, play mat? mat? <laughs> and the field center. Yeah, we have the field center. I mean... That's kind of a card. That's I didn't win the prize card, all right? That's not that a card's card. hard to get. Like, uh, <laughs> all right. I tried. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the profile, like, comment, subscribe. Random plugs. Thanks, yeah. guys. Yep. Thanks for watching.